When it comes to the online universe, broadcasters are clueless. I know, I spent 20 years in the industry and watched in horror as radio and TV became mostly brain dead and boring. And there's nothing more brain dead than the way many of the broadcast TV networks handle streaming of their programming. Sometimes they don't upload all the episodes. Sometimes they delay new episodes for a week or more to allow cable or satellite companies time to clear the shows a few times. In some cases, you can't even buy the episodes on Amazon or iTunes until the program clears the other outlets. Or worse, you have to wait till the end of the season. This is a failing strategy, if we're to believe the research reports by Nielsen et al., that tell us people want content on demand on any platform they choose. Let's do a little math here. There are about 41.5 million cable subscribers in the U.S. Dish Network has about 14 million subscribers, and DirecTV has about 19 million. Add them all up, and you have a grand total of, if I carry the two, 74.5 million households. The total possible viewership for cable and satellite combined accounts for about 21% of the population of the U.S., and their numbers are falling dramatically. Meantime, there are over 240 million people with internet connections, which is more. A lot more. It's like 68% of the U.S. population and still growing. The opportunity for building a huge cable satellite audience has long since passed, and the potential for building a huge online audience is only getting better. I just ran across MyPodStudios.com, an online company that primarily aggregates video content from other sources. Since 2010, they've grown their audience to 20 million unique IPs per month. This isn't a perfect analogy, but if you think about unique IPs like subscribers for cable or satellite, you start to see the potential. Let's put a sharper point on it. I have a friend who's a major fan of the CBS show Person of Interest. He isn't available when the show airs, so he kept trying to watch it later online. Only problem was, CBS wasn't posting all the shows. He kept complaining to me that he'd happily watch all the commercials as long as he could see the show when he was ready. The solution? Piracy. My friend simply downloads torrents of the show sans commercials. The result is lost viewership numbers, ad impressions, and revenue. This is a case where the broadcaster is the source of its own problem. And what's true for entertainment is true for business. Give your audience what it wants, when it wants, on the platform it prefers, and you'll do just fine. Don't, and watch the audience work around you, or worse, ignore you. Your call. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any thoughts or questions. We'd love to hear from you.